My name is Monsignor Hector Fabio Genao. I'm the delegate of the Catholic Bishop of Colombia to, for the relation with the Colombian state. I'm here visiting USIP to have a conversation on the peace process, the implementation of the current peace process in Colombia and the new initiative the go Colombian government has regarding the other groups like the ELN. The role of the Catholic Church has been in, in three levels, basically. The first one is at a grassroots level, where we accompany the communities, the local communities, and in particular the victims, to try to solve their, their situation, to, talk, to, to try to help them to look out for solutions regarding the suffering and the different difficulties they have at the moment, and trying to be bridges with the local and regional authorities. The second level is uh, regarding our relation with the different platforms of so uh, civil society and different organizations engaged on human rights and peace building. So we, we try to have a permanent di dialogue with them. Uh, we try to have a consensus about what will be the best future for the future in Colombia. And the third one is the relation with the Colombian state. I mean the relation with the High Commissioner for Peace, the Minister for Foreign Office, uh, Affairs, uh, the President of the Republic, etc., to uh, try to define more the next step to our new negotiations and to try to see how we can contribute for this, uh, the process that are starting at the moment. If we speak about opportunities, this is a very particular, a very unique moment because the government is trying to have a conversation with different groups at the same time and it's the opportunity to put an end to a big, big conflict we have uh, in Colombia with different groups, armed groups, is looking out for solutions for all of them. That is a real opportunity, but the how we have challenges. One of the challenges is to try to go ahead with the negotiation with the ELN, National Liberation Army, that started uh, some years ago in Ecuador, and after where the relation broken down, now the delegation is in Havana. So the plan is to restart the negotiation. On the other hand, that we have a very new situation in terms of negotiation in, uh, for justice issues, etc., with different groups, armed groups, most related to other issues rather than the political goals like the ELN. So the government is trying to have that conversations, to have those negotiations, to, in particular to have a solution for the humanitarian situation they, uh, they, they uh, have an impact in the regions. USIP give us different information, different kind of technical support, the different uh, tools to, for the negotiation. Nowadays, for example, USIP has a lot of information about what happened in the previous negotiations in Ecuador, and how a lot of contact with different actors of the civil of the society in Colombia, not just the civil society, but even the state. So it's a play, playing a very important role. And the relation with the United States is important nowadays, and uh, USIP has the capacity to help the society, or to help the government, and to help all the actors to understand very well how it's important to have a clear dialogue, a, a clear position to get a consensus with the United States and other countries in order to ensure that the solution we will have will be a, a good solution, the best for everybody, and that the solution will have a very good impact on the relation in the country and, and outside in the region. Thank you.